Good morning guys, it's Jeannie the Grizzly Granny here and this morning before our ride Gary and I thought we would go ahead and show you guys how we load and unload the truck with our two CSX Fat Tad recumbent trikes and it's really a slick procedure this ramp we purchased at Harbor Freight this year I believe it was what was it Gary 135 right around that yeah about that it's awesome because we had the two track ramp from there and we're lifting up the middle part of our trike and uh, we decided to go with this one and it works great because now uh, all three wheels fit on one of these tracks so the bikes sit in there sort of uh, one goes in the forward way one goes in reverse and then uh, we put the brakes on so they stay snug and then as an extra safety measure we put the strap on the uh, rear bike uh, to hold it tight and that just locks into the retaining um, mounts on the truck so i'm going to go ahead and take the strap off and then the bikes will be ready to roll out this literally takes us to load what a minute no, probably, maybe probably. Well, well to load about a minute and then maybe another minute or two for Gary to attach the straps and uh, we'll show you that when we uh, leave today okay are we good to go we are good to go okay so now we're just gonna set up our uh, tripod so we can uh, get a good view from the back of the truck and We'll be back with you shortly. Okay, guys, so now that Gary has things set up, just come over here. I get on the right, Gary gets on the left. Okay, and what we like to do is we like to just brake on the way down so we can kind of keep control of the bike. So just we just brake now and then and let each other know. So, okay. Okay, there's one. And now we'll get the other one. You gotta climb in and unbreak this guy. Yeah, so um, we have some uh, gym machine padding here in the back of the truck because it's got ridges that are kind of hard on the knees. So Gary just uses those and a uh, little garden pad for his knees so he can get in and just uh, release the brake. And I'm sure we wouldn't have to do that. We could use chalks or something if, if you're unable to do that. Okay, so we kind of have to uh, be careful at the top because um, the pedal end of Gary's bike um, just barely clears the um, opening here of this camper top. Okay, so that's it. And then this guy just folds right back up. Yeah, we got a car waiting up there, so. That's it, guys. We'll catch you on the other side of the ride. Okay guys, we're back from our ride and we're ready to pack up and head home. So first thing we do um, is strip everything from the bikes that comes off like our lights, our headlights, our, our rear flashers, our radios, um, our phones, anything that we have in our um, rear trunk bags. Um, anything that we have in our side bags that we want to take with us. So we get all of that stashed, get our flags put away. And um, now we're going to put Gary's in first, head on. So here we go. We stop, tilt, and in. Now Gary does not have to lift the rear tire at all. So if you're doing something like this, 
that's just his style. Uh, with this ramp, the rear tire can just nicely ride up, but he likes to do that grip or, you know, it's kind of an individual thing. And then I don't know if you can see it, but he puts his trike in and he just slightly angles the uh, front wheels to the right and then he puts on the brake. Okay, my trike's coming second and this one goes in rear first. Kind of line it up so it's centered. Okay, one, two, three. Stop. One, two, three. Stop. And I like to switch my hands around right here like this. Again, it's an individual, whatever works for you. Okay, here we go. And it's done. Now I just told my trike so it doesn't roll anywhere. Gary is going to come around. And then he just kind of slides my trike uh, on these nice slippery rubber mats we have here. It's just no effort at all. And so they fit in there like a glove. And uh, reverse of what we did to unload is um, we just use a uh, tie down with our anchor points inside the truck bed. So again, that depends on what you're using. We fold up our awesome ramp. I forget what this is rated at. You can go look on um, Harbor Freight's website and you'll see the triple, triple hinge. And it fits right under both trikes without bumping into anything uh, that it's going to harm. And then just because I'm really particular about stuff like this. I like to take a little rag and I don't know if you can move to the side, Gary. I tuck it under that strap where the metal is because I don't want that rubbing on my tire and causing a a flaw or a weakness in the rubber. Then we've got these uh, grandkids little uh, boogie boards that were never used and uh, we put those in so that even if the uh, trike does move backwards and it's not going to, um, it's got this protection between this and the uh, truck gate. Did Gary, know? did you have any remarks? No. It's easy, right? Easy and uh, makes transporting the bikes anywhere we want to go very simple. Uh, so we can even hook up a, you know, a trailer uh, behind us or a travel trailer and go camping, take our bikes with us. Uh, right. And it's just having a, a, a trike, it's almost essential that you have a way to transport it because not all the time are you going to be able to roll out your front door and ride everywhere you want to go. And in Colorado, there's so many beautiful places to ride. So you want to be able to transport your bike. And we found a way to do it easily, simply, no stress, no strain. And uh, we, can, we can pretty much hit it anyway. Um, I just wanted to say that if we're planning on going somewhere where we want to uh, maybe make another stop or two after we ride, We'll usually take the truck because the trikes are in there, the windows are tinted, and, and you really can't see anything. Um, if we're out of town, we throw a tarp over that, uh, over the bikes, so you can't see anything, or trikes, technically. Um, now, if we're going to take my Jeep, uh, we've got a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, then we have a small trailer and both trikes fit beautifully on the small lightweight trailer the same way front to back and same back way to front yeah and um we would do that uh like i said if we wanted to take my jeep somewhere the only uh, caveat is then your um trikes are going to be outside and accessible 
uh, to someone who you know would want to steal them. So if uh, we, we have other stops to make, we usually don't bring the Jeep. Um, or it depends on the, uh, your trailhead parking situation. Is there going to be room for a trailer behind you? So um, just be flexible and, you know, have a couple plan Bs and uh, you're good to go. But this is so easy. And guys, I was able to load this, what, four weeks post-op when we went on our first ride. Yeah, so it doesn't require uh, really any strength. Yeah, I was able to load this even with my, my ribs and, and intercostal muscles cut. So it really is not any effort. It's just knowing what you're doing, coordinating movements. Um, if, if one person was doing this, you'd, you'd have to make some adjustments. So this is a two-person method, and there are other methods, but this is the one we use, and people are always astounded. Of course, when we're doing it in front of the camera, we kind of have to think more and I have to talk. If we're doing this, it's just us and we unload uh, and load, we can just do it like that. And people come up and we're like, wow, I can't believe you did that so fast and easily. So guys, hope you have a great rest of your week. As always, we wish you happy trails. And remember, be safe out there. Bye for now. See you on the next one. Sounds good. Let's drive, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.